Hello everyone, and welcome to my next video for Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia, in which I am going to be doing some pulls for Agrius LD Weapon. I see that they have given her Ragnarok, or Ragnarok, or however you want to pronounce it. Um, it is one of her Night Swords, I believe, from Final Fantasy Tactics. Yes, that's right, the devs have remembered that Tactics exists! Praise the sun! It's, you know, it's, uh, until Ramza gets his burst plus, because apparently they're the only two characters that exist in Tactics. Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna rant, I'm not gonna bitch about tactics because enough people do that online already, but I mean, I I kinda get it, I know why. Um, so I was like originally going to, uh, I was originally gonna be doing some pulls off camera for Yuna's LD weapon, and then I was gonna be doing like gem pulls on this banner, and then giving uh, Yuffie and Barrett a hard pass, even though they are FF7 characters, and I'm a bit of a 7 stand, but they don't really offer anything, you know, that exceptional to warrant me spending my precious resources on them. Uh, and that's when Yuna decided to flush like 800 tickets down the proverbial toilet and then also rinsed me of 75k freaking gems for her LD weapon. I had to pity the bloody thing. I had like seven tray LDs along the way. Um, naturally, I already pulled I pulled a burst. Uh, I think it was like one of the last tickets. I'm not sure if it was a ticket draw or a gem draw, but I definitely got the burst along the way. Um, so I really do not need to pity it on this banner, and I'm just going to end up laughing if I end up pulling a freaking burst and have to <laughs> have to pity Agrius LD that you know that, that that's that do be how it be sometimes. Um, but I'm going to be going in and I'm pulling for specifically Agrius's LD. I don't need anything else on the banner really. I mean, I'll take shiny stones, but I'm kind of drowning in them at this point. Um, I, I literally think I could realize and max out all of my uh, non-purple EXs, and I would still have surplus power stones. Um, you know, uh, but it is what it is. So, I I love Tactics, I think it is an amazing game, and I think most people that have played it will agree with me. Um, I do not think there are anywhere in near enough Tactics reps in this game, and even when Agrius gets her LD, to me, she's a very... she's a bit of a low-key character, isn't she? Because she has that unique utility that hardly anyone else has. She has the Paralyze, she has the Silence, and then she has her new, like, LD... HP plus 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 whatever debuff that like inflicts I think it's like guaranteed confusion is it? Um, but at the very least it is also a brave damage up and HP damage up as well while the debuff is on there even though it only lasts for one turn and I, I have heard that she's instrumental in a couple of Lufenia plus quests in the future um, I don't know which ones they are because to be perfectly honest Lufenia plus is the era of the game I know least about because I kind of stopped watching videos frequent videos of the JP version when Burst Plus came out I saw Zidane and, Ish and well Yashtola I guess it's pronounced I actually started playing 14 as you know um, um, and I was I was impressed by them, and I've seen like Sid Rain's degeneracy, and I've seen what Enna Cross can do. Um, but for the most part, I don't really know how the fights go. They just all seem to be steamrolls as long as you've got a decent team. Um, so yeah, Agrius, she seems kind of low key, but because I love tactics, I'm going to pull for her anyway. And if she can help me beat Luffy Plus, then so much the better. I'll take any uh, any extra tools for the toolkit. You know, is very much welcome. So. I'm not going to stall any longer, I'm just going to jump straight into it. Um, odds are that we're probably going to have to end up going to gems here because I really don't have much in the way of tickets anymore. Um, but we'll see how badly it goes, or not as the case may be. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, well, that is the customary free draw, which is absolutely diabolical, as you would expect. Oh, 52 tickets is not too bad. That's better than I thought. And I hope the music isn't too loud, but if it is, then uh, I guess I'll just kind of shut up and you can, uh, you can listen to some tactics. And I just got a loading in the bottom right-hand corner. Are you serious? Is this it? Is this actually the LD? Is this, like, is this my my karmic reward for Yuna? Is this the, is this the universe, the powers that be take... Taking pity on me and sparing me from uh, flushing yet more resources into the abyss. Um, I kind of hope it is. I think it is. Yep, there we go. <laughs> so this is a very, very short pull video. I, I'm kind of disappointed that I did not record my pulls from before because I'm sure that there are plenty... Well... I'd say there are plenty of you out there, you know, like all fucking 10 of you or 20 of you who watch these videos at this point. I'm sure there are a lot of people who would have liked to see me get rinsed hardcore by Yuna. Um, I guess that's what I get for kind of thinking it's going to be no big deal and then suddenly I've got 32 tickets left and yeah, there, there go my, 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 my gems. I mean, it's, I'm fine, you know, I don't really care, but uh, we are we are where we are. 
And then of course the one time I decide to actually record my pulls and get it in like fucking 20 tickets or something stupid. So, I mean, that's how it goes. This is Gacha, this is RNG. As long as you make sure you're prepared for the worst case scenario, we take the W's where we can find them. So, thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, and goodbye.